Well, hello, welcome to the latest commentator's view piece. Uh, you may notice this week I'm working at the Roslyn Park HSBC National School Sevens and delighted to have alongside me a Rugby World Cup winner in Jason Robinson. Jason, great to have you here. Um, sevens would have been a game that might have been uh, suited to your skills, I imagine. Yeah, I only played a little bit of sevens uh, in my career, but you just see the way, the growth of sevens. I mean, we're here at Roslyn Park, you know, and there's over 8,000 kids here. The, the level is fantastic and it's just growing stronger and stronger each year and then you go beyond that and you see the HSBC Sevens World Series wow just the venues that they've got they've just been to Vancouver yeah. Hong Kong you'd have enjoyed Singapore. those air miles well, wouldn't you it's, I mean it, it's great not just that but you know it's just Sevens is such an engaging sport you know it's fast it's furious you just see so many tries you know there's some great great athletes on show because you have to be exceptionally fit um, to play seven, so I think if I had the option, if I could go back, sevens would be uh, would be amazing, and especially with uh, a chance of winning a, a gold at Rio. Gold, yeah. You know, in the summer, so it's it's fantastic. Excellent stuff. Uh, well, big weekend in the Six Nations coming up. Uh, England with the chance to uh, get down to Paris and uh, come out on top in Le Crunch for the Grand Slam. You were one of the last to do it for England in 2003. What do you reckon to their chances? Yeah, I think they've uh, they've done really well. I mean. So the World Cup was uh, was a bit of a downer, but they've managed to, to regroup. Eddie Jones has come in. Uh, you can see the influence that he's had. He's, he's, they, they seem to be playing um, a more open game, you know, trying to generate quicker ball. And for me, you know, it makes them a, a more dangerous team because the likes of Noel, the likes of Watson on the wings, are getting their hands on the ball a lot more, creating a lot more. You've got guys like Itoje that's come in um, and has done fantastically well. You know, he's only 21, but he's playing like a real senior pro at the moment. Um, and there's a lot of excitement around, you know, guys like Billy, Billy Von Apolo yep. getting over the gain line, setting a platform. Owen Farrell last week with a boot was just amazing. So this confidence at the moment is, uh, is high and I expect them to go to France and get, uh, get a result. Do you think this is an England team that is showing more qualities to get on that sort of journey that you started in 2000, 2001? Yeah, I, th I mean, I, I think there's a lot of work still to be done. Um, Eddie Jones has said that they need to work on their, their fitness, but I think they're all round game. But, you know, we're seeing it. It, it, it. It's all about winning games. And they've got four from four, triple crown, championship. So you can't really, uh, you know, criticise that. But at the same time, as a player, you want to get better. Yeah. You know, and England, you know, can get better, get better as individuals, get better as a team. And sometimes it's just by having those experiences, going, having that pressure now, going to France, you know, will be an experience that will help them to develop. You know, if they go to France and don't deliver, you know, it's back to the drawing board. Um, but I expect them, um, well, I think what Eddie Jones is doing, in, in one way is he's taking players off, uh, taking the pressure off players by, you know, playing down the likes of Itoje um, and just allow them to go out there and play. Um, and also, you know, he's very vocal, you know, so that's actually getting all the focus on him and the yeah. players can just go out there and play. And you just see, you see guys like Chris Robshaw, you know, the captaincy has been taken off him, but it's actually made him go out there and just play a lot more, not have that pressure. You know, Dylan Hartley, you know, he probably thought four months ago, am I going to get another chance to play for England? All of a sudden he's England captain and he's, you know, he's flourishing in that, in that role. So. You know, England, there's so many good things um, coming out of the camp at the moment. But again, they just need to go there, finish the job, because they know come summertime, it's Australia. And the level there will go up a notch and uh, they'll have to deliver as well. Yeah, they certainly will. Uh, prediction then for, uh, for, Friday, uh, sorry, for Saturday night in Paris? Yeah, I'm going to go for an England win on, I think, by about 10 points. 10 points. Brilliant. Jason, thanks very much for your time. We'll see you soon.